the opposition NDC, which is today dismissing the argument being advanced by the governing MPP that more people in the Volta region are being registered uh, to vote, as opposed to 2016. At a news conference in Accra yesterday, MPP chairman Freddie Blay called on residents in the region not to allow themselves to become pawns in the NDC's alleged ethnic agenda after the main opposition party alleged military intimidation of uh, prospective voters from the region. Mr. Blay says figures obtained from the EC show that more people registered this year than previous years and he accused the NDC of deploying what he called communist inferior tactics. They are not. At the end of phase five of the registration exercise after 30 days, 816 and 69 people have registered in the Volta region alone as at against alone as against the 2019 regional votes register of 999 of the two places. Indeed, on a national average, registration in the Volta region, particularly in Tetris South, has been among the highest in the country. But the director of elections for the NDC, Elvis Efri Ankara, says the NDP's allegations of uh, communist inferior tactics are laughable in the face of incontrovertible evidence. We have provided incontrovertible evidence of various incidents of violence targeted at people of Eve or Volta extraction and people of Northern extraction, extraction all over the country. Beyond that, you as independent media entities have also had several, several, several reports that you yourselves have covered over all these incidents. Again, there is pictorial video evidence. It's so clear and glaring. So when you have a 70 plus year old man standing before the entire Ghanaian populace and in the face of such incontrovertible evidence, evidence of violence, evidence of beatings, evidence of arbitrary arrest, evidence of deliberate attempts to suppress votes in these areas, evidence of ethnic bigotry and discrimination. And he comes out to say uh, these things are not happening and that somebody is engaged in what? Hate for votes. Then, you know, you, you just... It's so ridiculous and preposterous. You heard the Defense Minister Dominic Nitu who mm -hmm. also said that some of these military officials are actually being impersonated and he hasn't sent any military officials. But, but is that not even more serious? Where have you heard in the history of Ghana that people can actually wear military uniforms? So it's, it's, it's a confirmation of some of our concerns that people actually wear military uniforms, carry guns, and go out to polling stations and go and cause chaos and mayhem.